it went away. Man, don't you hate that when the sneeze just go away? It'll come back. I think. What it is, everybody? Yeah, what's going on? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today. I really do because uh, we getting closer to the end of the year. We getting closer to 2024, 2024, man. Coming soon to a theater near you. Um, and we got to start summing up this year of sneakers, bro. You hear me? We got to start summing up this year's shoes. What's the best of the best top 10? I've been really, I've been really dreading doing my top 10 because it's a lot of shoes, but I just don't know how to categorize. I don't know how to rate them. I don't know how to rank them. Put it that way. Rank. That's the word I'm looking for. I don't know how to rank them, Shadow, because the bit, my favorite shoes that dropped this year is like OG stuff, but how many times you gonna put a retro that's done retro a couple of times before on a top 10 of the year list? Feel like you gotta put something new, either a new silhouette, which I, I'm really not gonna have no new silhouette on my top 10, but at least a new colorway, you know what I'm saying? And it's hard to go over the OG colorways because the OG colorways are the best. It's just, just simple. The only thing I'm looking at that's going to be in that top five that's not an OG colorway is that SB4, man. But, you know, I'm not going to get into my top 10. I got a whole video. I'm um, trying to get wifey to pull up her top 10 sneakers of the year. She she told me some she ain't cop 10. I said you cop way more than 10 shoes, but she finding it hard hard to narrow down what deserves. She feel like she don't have 10 shoes that deserves to be in the top 10. So we working on the top 10, but... I got two things in store for y'all today. One, I'm going to go to the LVRG Boutique, Sneaker Boutique Capitalist to see what they got in there because they be having some different stuff in there that you won't, you just don't see in the malls and stuff like that. And then I was on the way out here from work. I was going straight to Snellville, Georgia. And I was, I'm, I'm in Stone Mountain right now. I'm up in good old Stone Mountain, Georgia. Um, you can probably see the mountain. Uh, no, it's on the other side. It's on that. It's, yeah, it's on this side of the. A shopping center so you can't see it from right here but um i decided to stop by ross in stone mountain now 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 i know i'm not gonna find these three if i do it's gonna be stomper sizes in the threes but i'm always in the mood for a good ross vlog especially when it's one i rarely go to if y'all can remember though it's some marshals back here y'all probably don't remember it's some marshals back there and that's where i found fake shattered backboards and that was this was years ago this was back in 2017 or something like that them shattered bat boys they kind of look like mid but they kind of look like highs and they kind of look real and they kind of look foo-foo but marshall's and ross usually get stuff from retailers so that shoe made it there and it had like no box no it didn't even have a tag sticker price nothing on it, it was like somebody came in there with like i'm just gonna take these off and just put them to the side right here that's what it looked like but anyway uh anyway ross vlog straight off work we're gonna see what ross got then we're gonna go and head to um uh, LVRG Sneaker Boutique in Snellville, Georgia. Y'all comment below. What are, the, what, are, what are some of the shoes? Some of your favorite shoes of the year um, coming to the end of the year. What are some of your favorite shoes? And does it really matter if I put the same OG uh, retros in the top 10 or do I need to put something new? Y'all comment below and let me know. Anyway, let's check out Ross. Do it! Um, Pine Tree Kicker work Nike boots on today. This is actually a big Ross. I ain't going to say a big Ross. It's just a tall ass Ross. Why they make it so tall? I guess because it's by Stone Mountain. Everything got to be high out the ground or something. I don't know. Right before we go into the Ross, it's a good sign. It's a good sign. We have a jump man that somebody they still got the fingerprints. We got a jump man that somebody done placed on the wall. Open Sesame. Bruh, so maybe that wasn't a good sign because I'm just walking in. And I just, I'm getting a Slim Pickens vibe just coming in here. Look, there you go. For all y'all who went crazy over them dunks, exactly. stood in line, jumped people in line and fight over them. Here you go. Good sweater for you. I, I really don't get the Powerpuff Girl thing. I remember watching it back in the day, but I, I really don't get the hype over them shoes. I, I mean, I, maybe because I, I ain't crazy about dunks, but I just don't get it. <laughs> I, hey, maybe it's in me. Yeah, so like I said, it's a real Slim Pickens McGlickin vibe because when you see that bottom shelf have no shoes on them at all, that you already know it's going to be trouble. You know what I'm saying? 
they got them pennies already. I'm starting to think all the Ross, not just in Georgia, but all the Ross is everywhere. Get the same stuff. These are actually high tech boots. That's Tim's too. They're like high tech, high tech made. Tim, I ain't even know high tech still made stuff number one. Then they made a Tim looking boot with XT right there. Okay then, extra trash. That's what I mean. Um, 19.99. Okay then. I ain't mad at these vans right here though. With a little flame on the side. 39 bucks. Had to get these for my wife or something. No, she might not like that flame. It's exactly her size too. It's a seven and a half. <laughs> nah. She ain't gonna want those. Got some NMDs in this guy. NMDs. You feel me? You know, Ross is the spot for NMDs now, bro. Get your song. And it looked like the vultures already been to this Ross. I'm one of the vultures too, by the way. But it seemed like the vultures already been to this Ross because not even in ant bed size, uh, sizes do they have any Air Jordan 3. So anyway, that was quick. Let's go and get out of here and head to the boutique, shall we? All right, back in the whip, man. I'm finna head over there to LVRG real quick. Real quick about my top 10 one more time. Y'all can't be getting offended, man. Playing it, I can't go for that. <laughs> Y'all can't be getting offended about my top 10, Sheldon. It's my top 10. You feel me? You won't see any dunks whatsoever on my top 10. I didn't buy any dunks. Well, I did buy dunks, but I sold them. But you ain't gonna see no dunks on my top 10. You're not even, I mean, even if I got all three powder, what, Power Puff Girls? I don't even want to say Powder Puff Girl. <laughs> Even if I got all three of them, neither none of them will be on my top ten. Just they're just not for me. I ain't I ain't crazy about them. Um, and also, you might not see Gratitude Elevens on my list. That's because that wasn't the shoe I was super super looking forward to. I like it. It's dope. It's clean. If I didn't have Concords, it would definitely be probably. I don't know if it'd still be on the list, but it'd be a must cop type thing. But since you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, it's certain things I gotta weigh out before I make my top ten. It's gonna be a lot of stuff on my top ten. Y'all gonna be like, you put them before gratitude elevens? You tripping, rich? But you know what? That's why it's my top ten. That's what makes us different. It, I know it's a lot of people that's gonna have shoes that's not Jordan and not Nike on their top ten. I, I honestly might not have anything in my top ten. Literally, might be all Jordans. I don't know. I gotta go look. I gotta go look and see what I got. I gotta go look and see what I got. Oh, 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 well, never mind, never mind. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we get there, it's definitely gonna be a one shoe on there that's not a Jordan. It's definitely gonna be one shoe that's not a Jordan. I got it recently too. Anyway, let's go. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to LVRG. Capitalist, man. Leverage. That's an AKA. Let's see what they got going on here, man. Snellville, Georgia, come mess with them. Oh, those pants right there. Those billionaire boys' pants right there going crazy on them. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have that dripping tent to rock those. So they got them Navy 3 guys in here looking cleansed in my humble opinion. This shoe would be a dope um outlet pickup bro. Like I, I, got, I got a feeling outlet pickup is gonna happen with these. I feel like they're definitely gonna go on sale but it's a clean shoe even if you cop now man they hard bro. But I will wait in my humble opinion. The Gore-Tex 6 guys in here looking cleansed. I like this shoe as well. I got the um, Mac and Roll joints, Mac Attacks, white, black. Still got some small sizes of the OG Hirachi guys in here. Oof, love this colorway, man. Just OG status. Here you talking about? That's a different looking blazer right there. I don't know the, I don't know the history. They kind of give me Mag vibes a little bit, like the Marty McFly guys a little bit. Um, then I got a cork on the inside. I got the cork, a little logo in there. I don't know what these is. It says Blazer um, Phantom Mid. Hmm. That's interesting, especially the way that swoosh go around the back like that. With the clear bottoms. Y'all let me know. I still got some of the I'm near hoodies in here, man. Cleans. This one is cleansed. We got all the A's. Look at the details, man. Got all the A's up there. The I'm near. This is fire. I saw this last time I was in here. They ain't have my side, man. So, And I can definitely tell that's not my side. So most of this stuff in, the, in this metal stack right here is on sale most of it not all of it like the um aqua sixes right here he said it was 20 percent off they're not showing it right here there's 200 still but he said it's 20 percent off all of these right here i still like this shoe and as you can see they do have a couple of size 12s but i don't know man i, I would have to get it for a really 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 play a price like uh 
like a hundred dollars or something like that. I a hundred dollars because I just don't need it. I got so many shoes that's similar, bro. Hundred dollars, I probably pull the trigger because I actually love that colorway, man. It's dope. A lot of people hate it on it, but I'm messing with it heavy. You feel me? They got the uh, white red mag attacks right here, and ninety six dollars, man. You can't beat that sale right there. Ninety six dollars. I know they probably ain't got no. I need to try these on though because um, the prices is going down on the OG grays and even the uh, Travis Scott ones that they just dropped, which I ain't even either one. That's the same shoe. Um, I need to know what size I will. Do anybody know how these fit? I don't see a 12, 11 look like it's the biggest one they got. Uh, anybody know how those fit, man? Somebody told me they fit small. Y'all come below and let me know, Shirley. They ain't got these right here. A lot of y'all probably forgot about these. Um, the 117, man. So. Sales looking cleansed. What is, what's in this joint 13 box? Is it the white ones? Oh, yeah, it's the white joints. Here they go, right here. Um, they still say 200, but I think I think these on sale too. I'm, I believe they, yeah. And of course, your usual suspects. You got your threes. Got some dunks going right there. Oh, I ain't mad at these right here. These kind of burgundy, burgundy dunks right there. What do we got? We got some green dunks right there. Like I said, I ain't crazy about the dunks, but I got to show it because I know people mess with them. So I got the social status Mac attacks right here. Maybe they got to, I don't want to try them on. That collab, just something about trying on the collab, bro. Uh, I just want to see how they fit. Maybe y'all can let me know. And got the Wheat 13 things, which I'm surprised. A lot of people said they were looking forward to that shoe. I'm surprised that that shoe is uh, sitting the way it is. But eh, not really surprised about nothing, honestly. Kind of surprised by these things. I might say they got my size in the 160. Like, I just got the the last ones they dropped like this. The regular cut, not the OG, not the 85 cut like this, but the regular cut. I bought them, bro. Neutral grays. I bought that shoe. I got it. I only wore it like once or twice because it's white. I think this one might be more durable just because it got that vintage out um, midsole. And I think this one might be better to wear. Like my like my Band-Aid is vintage out right now on my thumb too. But anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know, man. I kind of want to say they got my size in the bro. Or should I just, I don't know. These ain't going to go on sale because a lot of stores didn't get them. It was kind of like a quick strike. So I don't know what I should do. I kind of want to cop the, I don't know. I don't know. You can't go wrong with that. I don't really mess with the all white Air Force Ones, but for that type of drip to kind of go with anything, I, I mess with them neutral gray guy. Real quick, man. Let me, tell me what y'all think about these. I'm like, I'm not a big skateboard shoe person and not a big van person. But the people who do mess with these, these fat boys, these wide guys, tell me what y'all think, man. Is y'all messing with these van? With that big fat logo on the side, that 3D logo. They got that colorway and they got this colorway right here. I like the suede on them. You know what I'm saying? The laces, it's just crazy like some straight up skateboard stuff. Y'all let me know. Anybody who messed with this type of shoe, comment below. Bruh, if you didn't, if you grew up in the 90s and you did not have a pair of these shots, they look different. They don't even, I don't know if they look the same. I just ain't seen them in a long time. But did they do something different to them? 60 bucks. This, like, I wouldn't get no J's growing up, bro. I was getting these, bro. Like, every now and then I got a pair of Nikes or something like that. Rarely. Maybe I got probably, like, one or two pair of J's growing up. Like, when I was in, like, between, like, before I was able to get my own job and work. But these, I had, I had probably a couple of pairs. I mean, my brother had a pair of these, too. So, uh... Reebok Classic guy, bro. Comment below if you if you remember these from the nineties. Just having no choice but to get these growing up. You know what I'm saying? Still got pairs of these. These pretty much sold out everywhere, shorty. I actually saw them online. I almost dropped them too. <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm about to drop a shoe. I saw them online somewhere, but as far as stores, I haven't actually seen this shoe in the store in a minute. Black cement or uh, Air Jordan Two. Love that shoe. That shoe gonna be in my top ten. I don't care what nobody say, bro. Bro, so this is the shoe that dropped today. Y'all realize this is my last video that I actually put up was this shoe. So I really didn't want to do a mall vlog to show this shoe. I was on my way out here to LVRG anyway. So I did want to show this shoe while I'm out here. The Air Jordan 14 Black White, AKA Oreo, AKA somebody in the comments said Shamu or Killer Whale or Orca. That's like the perfect name. Shout out to the comments, bro. I forgot who commented that, but that's like the best the best name for this shoe I seen was like Orca or Killer Whale or uh, Tillicum. Hey, yeah, yeah. Uh, Blackfish, man. Hell yeah, yeah. This shoe look like a Killer Whale, bro. So, yeah, shout out to that comment. Y'all comment below what y'all thinking of these. They got the kick push vibes in the back. I don't know if I'm going to get a copyright for the instrumental, but, man, these actually hard, man. Like, if I catch these on a real good outlet price, like, 
like 117. I don't know. I, I said that. Like, every time I say that and then the shoe actually go on sale, I still don't buy it. So I'm going to let them cool off a little. I'm going to let them cool off and calm down and then I'll get back to y'all and uh, tell you what I do if they go on sale, man. But I like the shoe. It's a super clean, simple shoe. You're very rockable, very wearable. Rock aware. Here you talking about. <laughs> I like the little hit of red that they, they put right there, man. These it's clean shoe, man. I forgot to give it my rating when I did the um the unboxing and the review, but I'm gonna give these a a, a clean eight out of ten, man. Dope shoe, dope materials. This shoe could have easily been an OG uh 14. Y'all come below and tell me what y'all think of the Air Jordan 14 black white things, man. Also, we're talking about black suede. They got the eights and hell the winterized guys, so black suede all day, man. You feel me? Every time I see these, bro, I be like, if they didn't drop so many sneakers, man, it's certain shoes I get. Like these, they just scream 80s, man. A lot of color on them, a lot of materials, a lot of silhouette, man. Just, I can't get stuff like this because it's too much stuff dropping that I would pick over these, bro. But like I said, if it wasn't that much stuff dropping like it is, bro, stuff like this, I'd cop, man. But you know they ain't gonna slow down on producing these sneakers. You know, red one's even fire, bro. These ain't the Billy Eilish joints, though, is they? I hope not. Nah, no, it just says Alpha Force. Material's crazy. Buttery material on these right here. What happened with the airships, bro? I noticed, like, at first, when they first started dropping airships, like, resale was crazy, but as soon as they started making stuff more available, bro, and I'm not mad at it. I'm just saying, like, the hype just is just crazy. Like, I feel bad for the people who, well, I don't even really feel bad for them, but the people who paid crazy resale for some of this stuff when it first dropped, and then when they bring more out, you can just get them for retail or under retail. Like, I just wonder how the old people feeling right now that be spending all the extra money on this stuff, man. I mean, that can be even me, though. Like, it's a lot of stuff that I spent full retail on, and now they on sale. So, like, that shoe up there. I saw this shoe on sale the other day for, like, 70 some dollars online, man. So, and I spent 200 when it first dropped. So, whew. You live and you learn. You ain't gonna win them all. Hey. Yeah. I ain't even know they came in this box right here. Yeah. Oof, man. The OG, OG, OG cut right here, bro. You can't get more OG than this cut right here, bro. So, it's the Air Jordan. Like I said, they have my size, size 12, bro. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I might need to go do what I used to do before I started getting on, but stuff before I started doing my own videos and go watch some people on feet, see if anybody got some good on feet videos of these, man. Hype myself up for buying or shouting. Cause sometimes I actually be like, man, it's so easy for me to say I'm not gonna cop a shoe now, man, just cause I just having so many and not being able to wear them. It's just very easy. Like the shoe like this, that like a few years ago, I would have wouldn't have even hesitated. A OG cut low. Neutral gray or OG colorway, and then they got the vintage down and the real OG cut and the good leather and all that stuff, man. Like, a few years ago, I wouldn't even be thinking right now, bro. It wouldn't even be a thought process. It'd be like, ring them up, let me get them. You know what I'm saying? Also, a few years ago, it wouldn't be this easy to just come in the store and get them either. So, um, with that being said, I don't know. I still ain't made them. I mean, let's check out this box. I didn't know they came in a red and white. It come in like this slim box. And I don't know if this was the OG box or not. Let me put you back in there. Got the, the paper folded on both sides like that right there. I did that wrong. There we go. I think that's right right there. And then you got the box with the Nike, the red, the bright red, like, um, got a gloss to it with the Nike. It actually comes all the way through. You can see the imprint on the other side. I uh, got a uh, red Nike swoosh on the inside right there. And it's like a longer, like, slimmer box for the um, Air Jordan 1 OG cut. I'm surprised I didn't really see nobody videos popping up on my feed of this OG. I heard I was watching that sneakers sneakers app live today and a old girl was saying they supposed to do every OG 85 low and every OG original colorway um, by 2025. So for collectors, you know what I'm saying, you'll all have your pairs that you want. And I might wait for that instead of getting these because this is not one of my favorite colorways. I like the colorway because you can wear it with a lot of stuff, but I feel like the other color, like when they bring the breads back out in the um the all the other just the, the colorways like that like the um they already saying next year they gonna we gonna get the uh shadows like this and all that stuff i'm gonna probably just wait for them instead of just getting these man because those are the ones i really really want um but this is how the tag looks says air jordan one low 85 this um colorway is summit white smoke gray um 
and I think these retail for 160 that's size 12 so I'm gonna probably chill out on these man and I know some more coming next year man I got a lot of stuff that's coming next year that I want too so I'm gonna be real selective man I've been a lot more selective this year than I have in the previous years let's see if I continue uh, picking and choosing the pairs that I really, really want, man. I'm gonna tell him to put these back because I know it's other stuff that I'd rather cop. Yeah, man. So that was LVRG. Shout out to them, man. They always have some nice kicks, man. Like I said, I haven't seen that Jordan 1 Low OG85 in no stores, bro. Um, I think Wish had them, but like I said, they had small sizes in Wish when I seen them. They got a full size run of LVRG, man. So if y'all in the Stelvia area and you wanted that shoe, they got them, you feel me? I, I didn't get them. I, 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 I held firm, shawty. I ain't get them because, like I said, I know they bringing those those navy blue metallics coming out uh, next year. They got the um, shadows coming out. So, like, it's a lot of those. I think they're going to do a lot of Lowe's OG colorways in those 85 cuts. And I'm going to probably jump on the majority, especially the breads, the royals, and, and if they do, like, uh, and then the shadows, if they do all those colors, those black and whatever color colorways i'm gonna do a lot of those man because i i think that black will look crazy in that 85 cut that 85 low cut that that black leather i think it'll look i think it'll look supreme you feel me anyway appreciate y'all for watching man y'all comment below anything y'all saw in this video that you might have find interesting uh what are some of the best shoes that released this year like i said man and that's it man y'all comment below hit the thumbs up like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already hit that notification bell so you can become a part of rich nation stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my video because that's what i'm here for Gone. Watch me so stupid, the Dara. Check out my kiss on the para. Rich like a king of fairy, yeah. Yeah, Air Capitan, they callin' me jet like I'm sparrow. East Atlanta in my blood, the streets got me twin like Tia Tamara, yeah. Watch out with the Camaro. Stay out my lane, it's too narrow. God more, God more, stay and bless, I'm keeping my eye on the sparrow. Man of the people you did, they singin' my name just like it's a Cara. Cause my got the juice by the barrier, yeah. I can't really help it, bro, they know that I'm the ish, yeah. Get me boss of sauce and my just pull up right at wish, yeah. LBRG me, now I'm Gucci, Gucci, bricks. But when I step out, bro, it's 10 for 10, I don't miss rich. Step up, boys, 10 for 10, I don't miss rich.